Welcome everyone. In today's video, I am going to talk about events and logging in Solidity. So Solidity events are an integral part of smart contract, right? Allowing smart contract to be tested for specific variables on front end. Um, in this post, we will look into logging in events feature on the Ethereum virtual machine for a smart contract and what benefit does event bring on to our plate, right? Basically, you can think of an event as the name suggests that some action that happens or some write or creation of any block that takes place on Ethereum. And we would like to know about this event. And we also want to see that what information um, happened in that transaction, right? Like currently, like I am on the Etherscan website, right, which basically provides me all the transactions that are going on the ethereum virtual network right now so if i open one of these transactions um, i don't know what tra this transaction does but if i want to get more information if i go to logs i don't see anything like what is exactly happening and i want to see what data uh, has been updated what data has been used and all that stuff um, right so in that case um, i can use events so if when i use events in in my smart contract it automatically logs that information whatever has been emitted to that event and it gives me a overview of what's happening in the background at the same time as the name suggests events if i am using any front end application or any tool uh, and that tool basically depends that whenever any event gets triggered on my particular smart contract right on that address of the smart contract, I would like to do some action. So event also helps me um, to know about any event occurring or any new block getting created because of my smart contract, right? So we'll see that in action that right now we see that we don't see anything in logs, but using an event, we can even log it. And also event has some other advantages. Um, for us so if you want to use events it's a good uh, place um, uh, to start with so i can i can summarize again um if we events you can usually think of uh, as a mechanism to query stuff that happened on blocks and transaction so if you run a blockchain node you can listen for certain events by subscribing to them right in fact this is how chain link network works so the network subscribe to certain events at certain addresses and return the data from real world uh, based on the contents of the events that are emitted right so without wasting any further time let's go ahead and start with our coding part um, i will create a new contract um, i can give it name um, something like uh, number dot solidity so um, this file what i'm going to do that i will have a variable called number uh, which i will update on every write um, because our main aim here is to understand uh, what does um, this this event does to us right so i will take an integer uh, uint 256 number as my number right and then i will create an event so this is how we create an event structure i won't call it a structure exactly but if you can think of it as a signature so event uh, uh my number right and i can call it with two fields one that i'm sending um my number which is uh, indexed or you don't need indexed um, um i just wanted to show you that you can index a number as well but we will go with a simple um, the number wherever whenever I update it or maybe we can I can do with this um, previous number right which was my previous my number and 256 new my number so by default, initially it will be uh, empty zero number. And then whenever I call that method, I will emit it with a new number. And then I will also send address um, sender. So address 
will be my or whoever is calling that method now i will create a function function i will call it as uh, update number i will call it uind 256 with underscore new my number public as it's going to be a public method now here i will emit first that okay um what is my first field is previous number so it will be previous number will be my number um, now i update it with my new number new my number then i do message dot sender to send the va address value of the or wallet address of the person who is actually calling this method so my and i update my number to new my number right let's also create a retrieve method just on safer side to see if the value is updated or not uh, obviously because we are using events as i said we will be able to see the logs which other transactions don't show us return uh, my uh, number correct let's go ahead and compile it um, if you guys are thinking uh, what this id is i have already put up a video on what remix is and how we can use it but i'll briefly go over it this is a online id um, thanks to the developers for creating this it makes our life easy to test uh, with some test uh, wallet addresses and compile our uh, smart contract so that we are confident it works and compiles fine okay moving forward let's compile this okay we got an error we got an error here oh it should be a comma my bad let's compile this uh, okay expected event name or part emit oh yeah it should be my number because we need to emit that event okay so it compiled with some more errors let's see what it is uh, identifier already declared oh yeah so my number event my number event i'll call it with this name okay so the compilation was successful now i can actually deploy it so i'll go here i have already a demo account let's deploy it i deploy it so we see it got deployed and if i open this up we see we have two methods one is to update the number and one is to retrieve so as soon as i call um, retrieve nothing will happen obviously um, we won't get we would get a zero which is a default value but let's try to update our number to three right and i call the update so the update went through if i open this if i open this and if i see the logs you see the logs have um everything so they have my previous number is zero my new number as this and the sender address as this right so it has all the logs so we see that um, we get the logs here if i actually commit comment this out and then i will have to deploy this contract again like i'll compile this i'll deploy this so the contract got deployed to a new address now this time um, i will open this up and then i will try to update it well, first let me retrieve it it's zero I try to update it to four and i'll update this now if i open this and you see we don't see anything in the logs so we see the benefit of using event and emit that it helps us with the logging part also right and obviously once you deploy it to the main network you can actually use this ether scan um, testnet network to actually view everything um, about uh, let's go here um, yeah it's not showing me for this one but um, yeah events yeah there is no events but yeah this is how it will work that you can actually see all the data on the ether scan um, and you can see the logs as well uh, working fine right um, hope you guys like this video um, i will keep on making other videos on solidity and um, smart contracts and web3 as well 
um please subscribe to my channel if you guys like this video and want to see more content uh, give me a thumbs up and follow me on instagram thanks everyone